Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 5 of Mr. Chapman's book and here we'll be solving n chapter problem 5.3 and this is on the request of a student. Straight away we go to the question. Assume that the field current of the generator in problem 5.2 has been adjusted to a value of 4.5. Now, and these are the questions we'll be discussing one by one. But since this has given ref reference to problem 5.2, so I've just copied 5.2 as well here. And some of the parameters we'll take from this question 5.2. Okay, just to refresh your memory, this is the three-phase generator diagram, Y connected. Now in question, 5.2 it was give, given that the terminal voltage or the voltage is 2300 that means this is the line to line voltage and we call it VT and voltage of a single phase is called V phi or phase voltage now if you just draw the circuit diagram of one phase then this is the uh, field terminal and this is the armature terminal and this is V phase. Now for simplicity we do not write or do not show the um, field terminal so simple this is the voltage and whatever we calculate from this will be called the V phase no load. Now if we connect a load then there will be changes in the circuit and for that we have to again uh, calculate terminal voltage with load if it is required as it is in this question. So keep this point in mind. So first part of the question is asking what will be the terminal voltage of the generator if it is to be connected with a delta connected load with an impedance of 20 angle 30. Now we have to remember that the open circuit curve this one is always between open terminal voltage that is the VT no load and the field current IF. And the strategy that we'll be following here is that from the open circuit, we calculate the terminal voltage that is line to line voltage Vt. Then we connect the load and calculate the output V phase load. And finally, we calculate the terminal voltage with Vt load. Now the question uh, it has given that if a field current of 4.5 ampere the open terminal voltage will be about 238 volt. So for field current of 4.5 ampere uh, we'll go into the OCC curve and you can see 4.5 at this point take up and the a feed voltage is approximately 238 volt. Now once we have found the terminal voltage we can find the phase voltage by dividing it by under root 3. So this is our phase voltage at no load. Now Again, we have to actually find the terminal voltage of the generator with load. Now our load is delta connected load and its value is 2030. And we are assuming that the uh, generator is uh, Y connected. So first of all, we have to convert the load into delta. And the formula is that Z uh, 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 ZY sorry from delta we have to convert into Y. ZY is Z delta over 3. So we divide this by 3 
and then we just separate one of the circuit. So this circuit will be solving for one phase. So ZY will be 2030 divided by under root 3, 6.67 angle 30. And now our circuit will look like this. Now we have connected this load. These are the parameters given. This is the uh, terminal voltage for one single volt, or you can say this was the voltage for the uh, phase. Since at no load the phase voltage and the uh, generated voltage will be same, therefore we have we are writing here 1377. And now, since the magnitude of the phase current and the armature current is same, and since EA is known, we'll calculate IA as follows. So, actually, this current is same. It is the generator current, we can say, armature current, we can say, or it is also uh, phase current because it is uh, for one phase circuit. So, we'll calculate the magnitude of the armature current by EA divided by this load, magnitude of this, and uh, we get an answer of 186 ampere. Now this you can easily calculate if your calculator is in complex mode. I hope you already know this. If not, I have a video on this, uh, so please go through that. Okay. So the current we have found, now the voltage with load, so this voltage here with load will now be V5 IA Z IA magnitude. We have found Z magnitude, we know. Therefore, V phase nu is 1240. Now V phase we have found, now we have to found, find V terminal or for the three phase. So we multiply by under root three. So Vt with load, with under root 3 multiplied by V phase with load and so V terminal will be 21. Some students have this doubt uh, about the calculations. So uh, let me just show this part uh, with the help of a calculator. So we will just calculate the bottom part and our cal calculator is in complex mode. Clear. We will enter 0 0.15, then plus 101J, 101, we will enter I from here, and the third one is 6.67 angle uh, 30, so plus 6.667 shift angle 30. And when we calculate this, uh, this is in rectangular form, convert it into polar by going into the complex mode, selecting R theta, that is 3, and so the answer is 7.399 angle 36. So we're just writing the magnitude, 37.399, and 1377 divided by 7.399 will give us the answer. 186. Now we come to the second part, sketch the phasor diagram of the generator. Now we have seen earlier that there are three possibilities. If the current is lagging, we get a diagram like this. If they are in, in phase or unity power factor, then we get diagram like this. And if the current is le leading, then we get a, a diagram like this, phasor diagram. Now in our case, the phase voltage is, we, we had calculated this magnitude 1240, uh, with that we we'll write angle zero because this is taken as the reference line. Now this is the reference line, so zero angle. And now the armature current, we can find in two ways. The easiest way is that we just divide the voltage if we rephase with the impedance ZY, and so we get 186 angle minus 30. 
we could have also gotten it from the amplitude that we calculated in the previous slide, which was 186. And with that, we just write the load of uh, angle of the load with the minus sign. Anyway, this is easier way. Okay, and now that we have found the phase voltage and phase current, we can use this relation to find Ea generated voltage, which will be V phase plus drop in this will be Ea. So V phase drop in uh, resistance and drop in reactance. This we already know, these values are given in the question current we calculated. So using that, Ea will be 1377 angle 6.8 volt. And now we are ready to plot. So first of all, the reference voltage, this one, 1240. With that, we plot the current 186 minus 30. So another calculation is and calculation of Ea here. Actually, and so extend this and clear this. 90 degree angle. 1240, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 0, angle 0, shift angle 0, shift angle, 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 angle, shift angle, shift angle, shift angle, shift angle, 0 0.15, you put a bracket here, 0 0.15 multiplied by 186 angle minus 30, so shift angle minus 30, bracket close. And then is plus sign bracket one zero one one zero one J so we'll just write I multiplied by bracket one eight six eight six shift angle minus 30 equal sign this is in a rectangular form convert into polar by going to complex mode selecting 3 equal sign so you can see the answer is 1376.177 here the answer has been given 1377 so almost same and the angle is 6.8, so angle 6.8. So I hope you can do this calculation as well. Next is the efficiency of the generator. So we know the uh, efficiency formula is output over input. So first of all, from this circuit, if you know the power flow diagram, input and these are the losses gives output. So if we know output and if we add the losses, we can get input. So output first. So total output will be three times the phase output. So three times the magnitude of the phase voltage, magnitude of the current and the uh, cosine of theta, that is the power factor. So power output in watt will be 554 kilowatt. Now the losses are given in the question. So uh, this is not given, but we know the current. We know the resistance, so we can calculate this to be 15.6 kilo. This loss is given in the question. This is given in the question. Uh, stray not given, so we assume it to be zero. And sum of all these, uh, uh, these gives us the input power. And now that we have known the output and input both, so we can calculate the efficiency. Output divided by input, so it is 
Next question is, assume that another identical delta load is connected. So this was the earlier delta. Now we, another delta is connected in parallel with this. What happens to the phase diagram of the generator? So let's see, this was the original phase diagram for the single delta load. When the new load is added, the total current flow increases at the same phase angle. So the current flow will increase because the parallel load uh, has a uh, effect of reduced load and so the current will be increasing. So first of all we are showing this, the current is increasing but the, since the values are all same so the phase angle will not change. So phase angle remaining same but the value of the current is increasing. Now since current is in increasing therefore XSIA which is which was represented here this will now increase with the same uh, relation that is 90 degree on this so we do that line but there is an important point that the generated voltage remains same so where you will draw this line Earlier we had drawn it here, should we draw it here or should we draw it here or should we draw it here. So for that we have to keep in mind that EA is not changing. So if we draw a curve like this, uh, a semicircle representing EA, then wherever this line extended touches the circle that will be the point of new EA, we calling it EA dash. So this is the final diagram. And finally, what is the new terminal voltage after the load has been added? So the load, you can see now two parallel loads. So the overall load in here decreases to half of the two. I hope you know how to calculate in parallel. So the new load will be 3.33 angle 30. The magnitude of the phase current flowing, we have to recalculate the magnitude of the phase current. This was the voltage EA, new phase current 335. The magnitude of the phase voltage then with the same formula IAZ, current multiplied by the impedance, so 117 volt. And now we use the formula of under root 3 to find the terminal voltage. So the new terminal voltage will be under root 3. V new phase, it will be 1934 volt. And lastly, the question says, what must be done to restore the terminal voltage to its original value? Now the original value was 2300. With the new load, it has gone down to 1934 volt. So to restore, we know the generated voltage can be increased by increasing the field current. So that is the answer. To restore the terminal voltage to the original value, we have to increase the field current IF. And we can do that, number one, by adjusting this resistor. If, and if it is not possible, then we have to increase this voltage VF. I hope you have been able to follow this. Let me know your comments. Thank you.